Okay, we're going to shim this lock open. This is a quick set deadbolt lock. And quick set's a good lock to start practice and shimming on. If you don't have a quick set, you can use a different type of lock, of course. But uh, this again is a deadbolt that has the standard tail piece on it. We want to take the tail piece off and uh, put that aside. Just line your parts up like you, like you always do so you don't lose any of them. Then we're going to want to uh, shoot some WD-40. We can shoot some right in the, uh, the face of the plug. Might try to shoot a little bit right in the back of the plug here between the plug and the shell. So we'll put a little shot of WD-40 right into the keyway. And then I'm going to just put a little here on the back of the plug. Now in shimming the lock, what we're going to do is we're going to push this shim stock between the top pin and the bottom pin. So we're all familiar with the pin stacks. We have a bottom pin, a top pin, and then there'll be a spring. So we're going to use a pick or something to lift up on this bottom pin and at the same time we're going to push the shim stock between the top pin and the bottom pin. So that's what our objective is. And then once we get the first one done then we'll just we'll pick up the next one. So the next pin stack could be like this. Again, spring on top. We just come in underneath that. This would be the back of the lock on this side. So we would come in with a pick, lift up on that bottom pin until we can get our shim stock to slide through there. So that once we get all five of the bottom pins picked up to where the shim stock can slide in between the top pin and the bottom pin will create a shear line with all of the pin stacks. Okay, so to shim the lock, we take our shim stock, which is just a very thin piece of foil that's slightly curved to match the curvature of the plug. We, we push it in the back of the plug, right here, right behind the pin stacks. You don't want to go down the side of the pin stacks, so it won't do any good. You got to get right dead center on on the back of the first the back pin. It could be a number five pin or it could be a number six pin, but you want to line up on that back pin. And we're going to use a rake pick, and we're going to just go in there and, and gently rake those pins and see if we can get that shim stock to slide in there between the top pin and the bottom pin. Okay, there it's, it moved a little bit. I'm not sure if you picked that up on the video or not. You can back it up and look at that. But the shim stock moved a little bit, so we're, we've separated the number five pin stack. And now we'll just continue and try to do the number four. There's, it moved again, so we got the number four. There's a three. There's a two. Should be just one left. This is a five pin lock. And there we saw it slide in. So we raked all five of the pin stacks. And we can see that now we can turn the plug. We don't need the shim stock in there any longer. We can just go ahead and pull that out, put it aside. Then we can get a follower and we can push the plug out. Now we want to keep the lock like it is. We want to make a key for the pins that are in here so we don't want to drop the pins. That's probably the most important thing in doing this. If the customer wants you to make a key for the existing lock and, and not change that, uh, do not drop the pins. If you drop the pins, you're not going to know which order they went in. You're going to have to go to a different lock on that building that uses the same key and start over. Okay, so just like we learned in the previous courses, 
We're going to just take our follower and push our plug out. Now I'm going to look and see which direction the top of the plug is. Now I'm going to hold it so that the top of the plug is up. That way I'm not going to drop out any of my pins. Please take just a moment to like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.